This is Amy Zimmer from Holland Hunter Realtors with your real estate motivation. Homeowners insurance isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It protects your home and possessions against theft or damage. However, many homeowners arbitrarily pick their home insurance policy without knowing exactly what is covered. Virtually all mortgage companies require borrowers to have insurance coverage for the full or fair value of the property, usually the purchase price, and won't make a loan or finance a residential real estate transaction without proof of it. Many landlords also require their tenants to maintain renter's insurance coverage, but whether it's required or not, it's smart to have this protection and knowing what's excluded from a policy will help you as a homeowner avoid being caught off guard if damages occur or disaster strikes. Homeowners insurance policies generally cover destruction and damage to a residence's interior and exterior, the loss or theft of possessions and personal liability for harm to others. Three basic levels of coverage exist actual cash value, replacement cost, and extended replacement cost value. Policy rates are largely determined by the insurer's risk that you'll file a claim. They assess this risk based on past claim history associated with the home, the neighborhood, and the home's condition. When shopping for a policy, get quotes from at least three companies and check with any insurer you already work with current clients often get better deals. Not having insurance in place could delay your closing, so start researching early. You'll want enough liability coverage to protect your assets. Make sure you're going with a provider that is legitimate and credit worthy. All insurance is definitely not created equal. The least costly homeowner's insurance will likely give you the least amount of coverage and vice versa. If you own a lot of high priced possessions, you may want to purchase a rider to cover them or even buy a separate policy. It's really important to read the fine print in your policy and pay close attention to exemptions. Ask your provider questions if you don't understand your policy. Additional coverage may be warranted depending on the type of coverage and where the home is. Condo owners may need different type of coverage than those purchasing single family homes. The reason? Typically, condo associations hold insurance that covers the outside of the buildings, the property, the roof, and other items. Same goes for renters. If you're a renter, you may just most likely need to just cover your possessions. While homeowner's insurance covers most scenarios where a loss occurs, some events are typically excluded from policies, such as natural disasters or other acts of God and acts of war. You'll want riders for these or an extra policy for earthquake insurance or flood insurance. There's also sewer and drain backup coverage you could add on and even identity recover recovery coverage that reimburses you for expenses related to being a victim of identity theft. While it never pays to play it cheap with coverage, there are ways to cut down on your insurance premiums. You could look for multiple policy discounts. If you have your life insurance or your car insurance with a company, let them know because you might be able to get a discount on your homeowner's insurance. Make, you also want to maintain a security system, potentially install smoke alarms, CO2 detectors, deadbolt locks, sprinkler systems, and in some case, even weatherproofing can help cut down on those premiums. Raising your deductible. The higher de your deductible that the homeowner chooses, the lower the annual premiums. Also paying off your mortgage helps out. At least once a year, definitely compare the costs of other insurance policies to your own. Re review your existing policy and make note of any changes that might have occurred. This could potentially lower your premiums. Look for changes in the neighborhood. This could also reduce rates as well. Loyalty often pays. The longer you stay with some insurance carriers, the lower your premium can become or the lower your deductible will be. To know if you have enough coverage to replace your possessions, make periodic assessments of your most valuable items. Remember that homeowner's insurance is meant to cover big losses, 
not, it's not home maintenance. You want to find the coverage that fits both your budget and your needs. While price is important, the amount of coverage is vital too. Stay safe, be well, and happy homeowning.